joined by the University of Texas Longhorns, Coach Karen Aston, Brianna Taylor, and Crystal Henderson. Coach, congratulations on the win. What do you think about this afternoon's game? Well, it was obviously a, a bit of an ugly game offensively for, for both teams, but um, it was expected. Uh, we know each other so well and um, very, very familiar, play, play similar style. So I, I anticipated it being a little bit ugly, and it was. But um, we got off to a slow start and really have to give a lot of credit to our players that they didn't get down on themselves. Uh, they've really matured this year uh, with that uh, in a sense that they've not let their offensive woes sometimes get to them defensively, which is much better than we were uh, a month or so ago. But um, a lot of contributions from a lot of players. But I would, I would say that this was just a, a, a team effort defensively. Uh, a lot of players made some plays for us, but I, I thought the difference in the game was our team defense. Okay, we're going to take questions for our student athletes first. And if you would like to ask both young ladies to answer the question, please tell us which one first. We're recording this and doing transcription. Got a question on the second row. Rick Ann to the Austin American Statesman. Uh, Crystal, you went into the ball game with about six minutes to go, and you quickly hit a couple threes. When you went in, what did you think your role was when you went in? <clears throat> well, I feel like my role is whatever my team needs it to be. Um, I just try to come in and give the team energy, and I was open for the shots, and I just took them without hesitation. Got a question on the front right. Chuck Carlton, Dallas Morning News. For both student <laughs> athletes, beginning with Brianna, just – at the beginning of the season, everybody thought you would, might be in this position playing for the uh, tournament championship. Then midway through the season, nobody thought you'd be here. Just talk about the journey that you guys have taken and maybe what you guys have learned along the way. Well, <clears throat> the journey's been tough, but, I mean, we overcame the adversity that was put upon us, and I think that's what it's all about. Um, basketball is a game of up and downs, and it's how you handle it. So I think we're handling it pretty well now. Like, we're, we're starting to become more of ourselves, and we're getting back to playing defense, so everything's working out well. Question on the second row. Uh, Brianna, uh, OU didn't score for or field goal for about the last 10 minutes of the first half, except for the three at the very end. What specifically, defensively, were you doing to create problems for the Sooners? <laughs> well, um, I just wanted to be active. Uh, of course, I didn't want them to score, so... Um, we started playing more team defense. We started helping each other more, relying on our help. So that came together, and our defense is solid. Chuck. <clears throat> For Crystal, Coach talked about, you know, it was kind of an ugly game, but will you take winning ugly, especially with the defensive effort and things they had to do out there? Of course. You always want to win. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was an ugly game. But Coach told us coming into the game it wasn't going to be pretty. So we just hung in there and stayed solid as a team and got the win. Got a question on the second row? <clears throat> Excuse me. Crystal, you went to Skyline High School nearby. Um, were you extra motivated by playing in Dallas? And, and how many people did you have here? <clears throat> I mean, well, it's always fun to play in your hometown. So I was pretty happy about coming back home to Dallas. But, I mean, I knew we had to get a win. I'm more excited about being in the championship game and bringing a win home to Texas, up to Austin. So that's exciting for me as well. But I probably had, like, 20, 30 people in the stands, a lot of family and friends. Got a question on the second <laughs> row. <laughs> uh, both players, Brianna first. Uh, playing Baylor now for a third time how do you see that matchup well I think third time's a charm so we're gonna get them we're gonna beat them that's my mindset Crystal you want to add oh, to oh sorry um I think we we match up pretty well with them I mean it's gonna it's gonna be a good game a fun game and we've been waiting for this chance so we're gonna redeem ourselves like Brianna said that's our mindset going into the game and we're just gonna do what we do what we do as a team and just focus on us and everything else will take care of itself anything else for our student athletes okay ladies congratulations on your win this afternoon and we'll get a little rest and we'll see you tomorrow night thank you thank sir. you We'll now take questions for Coach Aston. Oh, yeah, you guys get to go. I'm sorry. I apologize. Sorry. 
Yeah, Clay Horning from the Norman Transcript. Uh, Coach, it seemed like you talked about a team defense, but it seemed like it began inside with laying in Amani Stafford. And I guess expound upon when a team can do nothing in the lane, what that does to them everywhere else. It makes a huge difference. We were able to get out on the shooters, uh, run them off of the three-point line because we do have those two. And um, I, I, I spoke about that in the locker room. As much as I thought some of our guards hit some big shots and made some big plays, I really thought that the interior defense and the interior play period was probably the difference in the game. I thought we were more solid than we have been at times against Oklahoma on the inside. Um, again, we were, we were both so knowledgeable of each other's sets and what we do that um, I, I think we paid a little more attention to detail this time. I thought Imani played really terrific. Question on the front left. Yes, Donnie Yarnick, your leader, USA Newspaper. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Yes. And uh, you mentioned the defense. And when you hold a team down to a long period of time with no shots, that's rather impressive. Do you see these grinder-type games, not much offensive flow, but <laughs> a lot of defense as you move forward? And what do you think about uh, facing Baylor again? Well, I think it could be potentially one of those kind of games also because we, we mirror each other quite a bit also from a personnel perspective. Um, I, I think they're really good. Um, they, I mean, our players are, are confident, and I, I love their the way they spoke just a few minutes ago. Um, but Baylor wears the crown right now, so we, we're going to have to really show up and play tomorrow um, and have our best, absolute best effort because of how, how um, solid they are. They they um, they have a lot of balance. They can score from the outside. Uh, obviously, we know about their inside game, so it's difficult to guard them because there is quite a bit of balance with their team. It will be competitive, and we will have to bring our most competitive nature that we own. Second row right. Coach, the game was still in the balance, and you put Crystal in with about six minutes to go. Do you remember th thinking – why you put her in at the time? Was it to <laughs> hit a couple threes like that? That was it. Um, I put her in because Selena had been playing an extended amount of minutes, and I thought at that time I needed to give Selena maybe a minute or two blow so that she could finish the game. Because the one thing that we know about Selena is she knows how to finish a game. She knows what we expect. She knows where to get the ball. And I thought she was really uh, great from a floor perspective tonight. But we did want to give her a break, and so I went with experience because I, I thought the freshman looked a little rattled today. So I decided to go with um, the ones that have kind of been there and done this before, and, and um, Crystal made that move look pretty good. Question on the front right. I know it's almost become a – a little bit of a running theme here, but the roller coaster your season has been on. But it looks like it's taken another turn here. With the fact you're, you're on a hot streak right now, you're playing for the Big 12 championship against Baylor after being six seed. Just talk about everything this team has gone through, and especially what you're seeing from them now. I thought it turned a few weeks ago. Um, you know, we still had some bumps, but I, I did think that their enthusiasm and their willingness to – kind of put themselves aside and, and become more of a team was created a few weeks ago. Um, it, I think Kelsey mentioned this last night. It was turn, It's tournament time. They, they, they got down the stretch of conference play and realized we better kick this thing in gear. And um, I thought that they did. I thought the leadership's gotten better. And I thought we had balanced off a little bit a couple of weeks ago. And gotten off the roller coaster and quite honestly most of that has to do with the fact that we've now we have played a few weeks without an injury and we've settled on a group of people that they can figure out what their roles are we can have some rotation um, in the games and the substitution rotations gotten pretty solid so we've gone enough period of time where they feel comfortable with who they are and what their identity needs to be quick question on the platform Brian Sandler, Time Warner Cable Sports Coach. You had to play your starters all the way to the end. Baylor got to rest theirs for the last 10 or so minutes. Playing a third game in three days, is that a significant difference? Uh, you would think that it would be um, from the outside looking in, but, I mean, our players are excited. I mean, they haven't played 
I don't, I don't think they've been in a tournament championship in the Big 12 in a while. Uh, they've won, what, seven out of their eight last games. So I, I do think they're really excited. I think they'll have a high energy level. And we still have some people that can come off the bench and help us that, I mean, our freshmen didn't play well tonight. And they're good players. So I, the one thing that we can look at is that they should have some energy tomorrow. And we do have some other players that can come off the bench. So um, we'll, we'll give our best effort. promise you that. Question on the outside left. This will be the final question. Uh, Todd Lamb, FullCourt.com. Uh, your bench was very, made significant contributions today, I think 32 points. Talk about that contribution. Well, it, it's been significant probably our last four games because of sort of what happened with the, the, the injury to Empress. She missed a couple of conference games. So she got – she was removed from the starting lineup basically because of the injury. And so now we have Empress coming off the bench who has been a three-year starter. And we – we had been going big for a while with Imani and Kelsey, and we made the decision to bring Imani off the bench also. So you're talking about two players that are, that are solid, experienced players that are coming off the bench. So probably two weeks ago or so, you would have noticed that our bench contributions have picked up considerably. I mean, you can't start but five, and those two have accepted their roles, and they're really, they're really the difference in our team right now. What, and then you have Selena and Crystal coming off the bench. So... Our bench is strong. Okay, Coach. Again, congratulations on the win. We'll see you tomorrow Thank you. evening. Thank you, Coach.